Hello, hello! And welcome back as I cast off the shackles of this icy, frozen hell for the shackles of what will in all likelihood be a new, much fresher hell in Perfidious Pete Plays Avon Colony. I'm telling you, let our victory here be a lesson to everybody out there, all your viewers. This, this is what happens when you're good at your job. This is how competence gets rewarded in this life. All it gets you is more responsibility and higher expectations for basically the same shitty pay you've been getting all along. No additional benefits, just more toil for you. It's sincerely getting to the point here in Avon Colony where I think I may need to throw one here. I may need to drop the ball a little bit just to just to get things back to parity. I'm I've got to stop this chain of getting continually promoted to a progressively worse and worse jobs. Think about it. Every assignment we've been given in Avon Colony has been crappier than the last one. Back in the starter colony, we had every advantage, great climate, plenty of sunshine, all the booze, hookers, and VR a boy could dream of. We had it all. And then what happened? We got kicked upstairs to Sandy Gulch so that we could spend the next several months getting our sandworms sandblasted into bloody gibbets, and after our crotches had been reduced to a smooth Ken doll-shaped curvature, what happened then? Then we got promoted to a frozen purgatory in the bottom of the ninth circle of Algiri's Hell. We gotta do something to stop this vicious cycle, we really do. Like, you know, whatever the colony administrator equivalent of shooting our manager in the face with a sour cream gun at a fast food restaurant is, or what... The, I want to do the colony administrator equivalent of, like, leaving a toenail in a hamburger at a McDonald's. That's what I need to do. Not enough to get fired, per se, but just enough to where I'll never, ever be trusted again. Because there's an entire planet here for our exploitation. We have a whole planet, and I'm really tired of being put in charge of the crappy parts. That, that's all I'm going to say. I, I don't know. I don't want to go to the crummy town where I'm a hero. I want to live in a nice town where I'm a nobody, but it's nice. So let's claim our victory. Hyla's Crescent. Ah, so I'm guessing our next colony is just going to be entirely underwater then. Uh, that's going to be it. They'll be like, you have no place to actually build a colony. You got to figure out a way to make this one underwater, Pete. It's got to be... It's got to be aquatic. Well, welcome to James Cameron's Abyss, I guess, then. Oh, nope, never mind. Hyla's Crescent looks okay. Like, you know, we could grow food and stuff here. Extend a colony to acquire the unidentified object. Unidentified object is where? I mean, I understand that it's unidentified, but specifically, where is it? Is Hyla's colony really misty or something? Because it looks like we got a, like a real weird visual Welcome. bloom thing your happening. Your colonists have been informed of your arrival and are eager to see what their leader can do for them. Well, I'm super stoked to be here. I, sincerely, I know I sounded maybe like I was being a little facetious, but in this case, I'm actually genuinely stoked to be here. Really, I'm, I'm excited. This place doesn't look like an unbelievable, ungodly toilet. What is up with the, the, like, the video looks weird on this one, though. Like, everything is really softly focused? What's going on with this? Maybe it's just Hyla's Crescent, I guess. Maybe it's like misty or foggy, I, I think is what they're going for here. I'll check the video settings between episodes, but I mean, I don't think they should have changed. Anyway, we got to build a solar panel. Okay, you know what? This of the tasks we've been given so far is not even particularly odious. 12 nanites, this produces up to 8 power. We could just go straight in for 30 nanites and go do in for the 26, but I want to try and use our nanites to get as many missions completed as possible. Also, let's take a little lay of the land here. What do we got out here? Are you potash? You are not potash. You are not clickable is what you are. So we got a geothermal vent. Okay. Got an iron deposit. Sweet. Another iron deposit. Outstanding. We got a uh, weird, definitely some kind of alien fungus bush over here. What do we have as far as exploitables? How are... It seems like... Why do, why do they always put these lumps here, but we can't do anything with them? Sandworm hole, even though we're definitely not anywhere near where one would normally expect to find a sandworm. Where's the object, though? It says expand out to the object. Where the hell is it? That's so nice shot up of the close up shot of the trees there. We got to build all the way out here. What the hell are you even talking about, administrator lady? What object? This is just a bunch of sandworm holes. It said build towards the alien artifact. Where is it? 
I don't I don't see any artifact, lady. I really don't. Is it these blue things? Nope. You, you gotta be a little more specific than this, Avon Colony. You gotta help a brother out. I'm not a smart man. And this fog effect is really starting to... I don't like it at all. Well, that's a Zorium patch. What am I supposed to be building toward, though, lady? Help a brother out. Okay. Let's like let's go do overhead and look straight down and see if maybe a little different perspective will give us some new perspective on what the hell we're supposed to be building towards. Actually, my newfound perspective isn't helping at all. It's actually just kind of making me a little nauseous. There's this, but I mean that's just a cargo pod full of bread, gold, and nanites. Three things that constantly are found in conjunction, by the way. Those go together like peanut butter, napalm, and uh, metastatic cancer. I, I, I have no idea what's going on here. I, okay, they said build towards the object, but I have no fucking idea what or where the object is. I'm guessing it's probably some kind of story beat thing where the object won't reveal itself until we get like 300 citizens or until we build a, a stadium. It seems unlikely that the object will be in this direction, however. So let's just go. Let's just prepare to go this way. If nothing else, if we come out this way, we're building towards a cargo pod, I suppose. So let's look at our food situation as well before we start. Th I mean, we're building exclusively greenhouses. I don't really get farms. Like, I don't understand why a farm is good. Grow crops for food. Grow, it, work, it grows crops for food and it works in the winter. It takes eight power and six workers. A farm takes five power and five workers. It doesn't grow more crops or anything. It, it really doesn't. In fact, it's. It, I think maybe it's a little bigger, so perhaps its overall food output is maybe slightly better. But it doesn't grow food in the winter. I really feel like the greenhouse is, is probably just our best bet, though. Let's take a look at what kind of crops we can grow here. So, 4.8. Okay, so barley is not exactly going to do well here. Broccoli? Well, what a shame. Okay, we got corn looks like we got okay pot potential here for some corn growing. We could grow a little corn. Make some corn mash liquor. How's rice going to... Okay, rice looks actually straight up pretty good. And this rice will grow just about anywhere. What is this rice you speak of, Uso? How about melons? Oh, this place loves melons, though. We can grow melons literally anywhere. Kino, no, nope. okay. Rice, uh, rice and melons seem like they're gonna be the staples of our diet. Try the new melon diet, the uh, South Bee special that doctors don't want you to know about. This one weird diet will make you shed pounds while eating all you want. So let's build that out there. They want us to build a solar panel, but I'm not like hugely enthused on building the solar panel, really. This area over here, I'm gonna say is basically a dead end. Let's not even. Let's not even entertain the possibility of expanding in this direction because it basically just goes out into the jungle in the middle of nowhere, which means, you know, it's a good opportunity for sticking a solar panel in there. We'll just drop it in. Over here, what are we going to build? I think nothing fancy. We go straight for the geothermal generator. Let's unpause and let our people get to work here. I'm going to get these bonus nanites from building this sweet solar panel. You know, once we go out of our way to build like 45 construction drones first, because of course we do. Two nanites and seven porridge isn't exactly a real coup of a find. Be like, oh man, we we done it. Jackpot, fellas. Two nanites. We really need to get an, a mine constructed as quickly as possible. So let's do... I guess we'll branch out this way. We can come over here, and that'll get us access to both of our iron deposits. Let's drop, let's go ahead and drop some mines on here. A tier one mine. Let's put a nanite processor, like, right next to that. We're going to make a little industrial park out here. And since we're building an industrial park, we're going to probably drop some housing in this area. Mines take, like, ten people, so we won't need a fully upgraded outpost or anything. I think we can probably get by with just some, we're, we're building a slum again. Why is it I always wind up building slums in these games? Why is it that, what is it about this game that it wants me to be a slumlord? It's like, nope, sorry, Pete, gotta build a slum. I'm like, I don't want to build a slum. Couldn't I just build, like, some reasonably priced ranch houses out in the suburbs? And they're like, nope, that's it. It's a slum, Pete. You build a slum. Either you're the lord of Cabrini Green or you're the lord of nothing. 
Lords of Nothing, by the way, would be a great name for a band. If you're an emo, like possibly with a screamo kind of influence band and you're looking for a name, consider Lords of Nothing. Give me my two nanites and my porridge, please. How many people have we got and where do they live? We have 16 people that live in a Prometheus lander and that's it, huh? Yep, that's it. 16 people living in a Prometheus lander. That's our whole colony. We need to improve the colony's water generation. I tend and to agree. Could benefit. A little food would not go amiss. You're not wrong. So, water pump. Where are we going to be able to get some decent supplies of water? Actually, water seems to be somewhat difficult to find, despite the fact that our colony is very clearly located on a lake. Be like, nah, no pumping. There's no, water, no groundwater around here for you to get to, Pete. I'm sorry. Groundwater? What's that? 2.6, 12.6, 12.6. Can we do better? 14. I mean, we can get 16 if we come out here. That's fine. It's a little suboptimal on the placement, but that's okay because you know what? It's always good to have an intake vent next to your geothermal plant. We want our food income to get up to 10 an hour. You know what? We'll get to it, but I'm gonna drop this here. We also need a play way to get colonists into the colony, so let's start building an immigration center. I'm going to try and focus the main thrust of our colony out in this direction, but I'm going to put the immigration center over here by where the mine is. I think I'm going to build our first extra domicile over here. So residential structure, nothing fancy. We're just going to go straight up habitat. We'll have a habitat. We'll have a staffed immigration center. Nanites, mine, mine, possibly more nanites. We'll be good. Some of these people will have an upsetting commute at the start of things. They'll be a little salty about the fact that they have to walk all the way around here. But we'll get there. Also, we're going to have to build some food structures at some point, too, so... You know, this area actually was not terrible for food, was it? Can we drop some greenhouses out here? How are you going to do in the melon department? Really good, though. Out here, they love melons. All right, let's... Yeah. So we'll do this, and then we'll drop a greenhouse here. And honestly, I don't see any particularly compelling reasons you just got no... Just and not immediately go second greenhouse. This is better production over here, though. could cancel these about like right here 7.8 melons per hour that'll do and we'll just connect it up perfect so we'll have water production we'll have greenhouse we'll have colonists coming in nothing really to do now but sit back and like rake in the accolades let's crank the speed up here get this party started keep this shit rolling let's get this party started I and honestly, I really want to upgrade this because it's taken way too long for these drones. And we are making nanites now, just albeit very slowly, because we don't have a whole lot of people. You are a priority construction, by the way. We're going to have some very salty colonists when they land, because they're going to be like, I don't have any place to live. We'll be like, sleep on the street. The people who are already living here live in the Prometheus lander. They're basically already living in FEMA trailers. This is the ship we landed them down on the planet with and they're still sleeping in it because none of them has the carpentry skills, I guess, to cobble together a house. Winter approaches. Yeah, We don't have a whole lot of food per... You know what? We have 20.5 food per colonist. Why are you complaining? I'm tempted to fill the dropship center immediately just to get more colonists faster. We're probably okay. We're already running at max speed. Even three new colonists is going to make a pretty significant difference. Water pumps and air are going to be pretty damn important, though. Let's, uh, since the colony is about to die from lack of water, maybe prioritize this stuff as well. Probably going to want some people working on that. Three people just immigrated to a colony that doesn't actually have functional plumbing. Like, it has no running water and people are still moving here. Insufficient power. Water pump lost power. Objective complete. Why do we have insufficient power? We have a freaking geothermal plant over here. It's winter, so our solar... Oh, that's... You know what? No. I don't know what the hell you people are on about. We have plenty of power. Oh, the water pump lost power because it's not connected, not because we don't have enough power. Don't do... Don't, don't give me that shit, Avon Colony. Tell me something. Oh, you have insufficient power. Just say, you know, it's not connected. Water pump not connected to power, not insufficient power. Those two things are not the same. All three of our new colonists, by the way, are going to be working here. So we drafted Julianath, Bao Clark, Zoo Moser, and Yale Saito here. 
You guys work to bring in more colonists faster, please. That's the new goal. More faster colonists. Probably some food would not be miss either. Pump water to 22 per colonist and also upgrade that. We only have the one water pump at the moment. Let's make sure it's working at maximum effectiveness before everyone dies of dehydration. Technically, do you die of dehydration or do you die of thirst? Because I think technically they would die of thirst. Nobody ever says, oh, they died of dehydration. No, you dehydrated is like a... It's like a status modifier. You are dehydrated. It's always a predicate adjective. It doesn't kill you. It's not a... It's not a... Dehydrated is not a noun. Oh, I died of dehydration. Now, you know, I died of thirst. Drone, what are you doing, per se? You're upgrading our drone structure? That's actually a good idea. We can get two drones at once going, assuming we can find somebody to work in the drone center, which, honestly, I'm not sanguine about. What are you guys doing? Dropping off the sweet. Oh, we found a way to abuse Avon Colony. So if we minimize the staffing, they only load three people. There, they only have to go through the loading colony ship cycle three times. But then if you crank it up and maximize it, you can have them drop off nine people. There's some kind of transporter accident happening here where we get two extra Rikers when we beam Riker back from an away mission. And then one of them decides, I like the beard. The other one shaves it, and the third Riker just doesn't do it. There were only two Rikers on that episode, so I'm having trouble coming up with what the third Riker would have done. First Riker's like, I don't want to be in the Academy anymore, and shaves the beard and goes off to be some kind of freewheeling space hippie. Second Riker decides, I don't know, he's going to become... When Q offers to let him join the Continuum, third Riker's just like, yeah, I'm on board, let's do it. Harder to come up with the transporter accident cloning analogy than you might have suspected it was. It's definitely harder than I suspected it was when I went down that path to begin with. Probably should have thought that through a little bit more before just going headlong, tilting at the windmill Don Quixote style. A little more forethought and planning would have served me good. Served me well because you don't really. Yeah. I think I'm having like a series of miniature strokes lately. I have a lot of performance errors. Warm immigrants coming in. All right, our population is growing nicely. They just aren't very happy. Why are our people angry? What is it that they want that we don't have? Okay, you guys are upset. Well, never mind. They're happy as clams suddenly. Low food. 10.2 food for colonists. Come on. Honestly, Avon Colony, do you consider this low food? We've been way lower, so don't give me that. I kind of want more nanites. All of these things that we want basically hinge on us getting more colonists, though. Uh, I don't want a laser. I didn't accidentally build a laser mine, did I? Nope, just a regular old iron mine. The laser mines and iron mines look exactly the same, which is, I gotta admit, a little disturbing. Also, building a new mine is stupid. We would be vastly better off to upgrade the mine that we have because we don't have enough people to work the one mine we've got. So building a new mine is dumb, Pete. You should not have done that. You just wasted nanites. We're going to want it eventually, so I mean, long term it's not a waste, but in the short term it's definitely a suboptimal use of resources. Also, can we get some more colonists in here? Let's uh, start this going. Yeah, yeah, low food. Low food supplies are quite concerning. You're is reducing the game speed because of my food supplies? Don't give me that. What we really need is Okay, fine. You want food? Fuck you. I'll give you food. I'll give you all the food you can choke down. We'll put this at high perfect. We'll put this on fill. I'll get every colonist in the damn colony out here slaving in the melon farms. You guys want melons? I'm going to give you so many melons you'll choke on them. Every one of these. All right, I was going to say, every colonist that gets off this damn dropship better immediately report to the melon farms and get to melony. There you go. See, our food income is coming up now. 6.5 per colonist. Dangerously low. Our food variety is already good because we have basically just melons. Don't, don't tell me about low food. I'll grow as many melons or as few melons as I want. What else grows well out here, actually, by the way? Can we build another greenhouse? What, but not not melons, though. Rice grows respectably well. Does anything else do better? Corn kind of sucks. Kino is terrible. No, but it's basically melons or rice, I guess. 
I want a little introduce a little bit more variety. What about these inedible crops, though? What if we like grow wheat? How does wheat grow? Not exceptionally well. Any of oh okay, Xeno Sage grows pretty well though. We can't eat it, but it will grow okay. Oh, and actually, never mind. Xeno Sage grows terribly. Quarry spores grow very well. Intari is not edible, but we can. It actually grows pretty well. 5.2 per hour out here. I think this is just going to be where we... This is like our farming zone. Even though it is a little suboptimal for farming. Here, first off, just, you know, for now, make, make some rice. That's fine. Our mission is to get our food income to 10 per hour. We're largely just waiting on colonists to show up to start working in the fields, though. I need some migrant workers. Literal migrant workers here. This is what I need. Come on, guys. Green cards for everyone. Just come on down. You need work. We got fruit that needs picked. Let's uh, let's hook this up. You know, if everything's maximum priority, Pete, effectively nothing is maximum. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Mr. Smarty Pants telling me what I'm doing. I just want to get food production up to 10 per hour so that we can accomplish this mission. There we go. And maybe get something better. Oh, boy. As a reward, we got 31 rice. Okay, geothermal energy, we got the reward. I like that they give you the reward for doing things that you don't actually have missions for. Build an outpost? I actually don't ever want to do that. Outposts suck. I don't want to build outposts. Why would I build the crappy kind of housing when I could just build good housing? What am I going to do with a shitty outpost? Do we have enough? Okay, hold on. Do we have enough room to accommodate the people that live in this lander? No. But what we could do is build an outpost here. And as soon as that's built, we're just going to recycle this. You know what? Screw it. We don't need to recycle anything. It's fine. What do you want? Storage is full. Ah, <sighs> Storage. I, I really... I mean, these things are just a, like a tax. The storage facilities really feel kind of tacked on. Like, they don't actually do anything, though. They're just also sort of here. Be like, oh, well, you know, uh, yeah, let's let's tax you periodically by forcing you to build an unnecessary storage depot. We completed a bunch of objectives. Okay, I've got some nanites, some corn, some, some bread. On how to best expand your colony. Increase our nanite income to 1.5 per hour, and we get some broccoli out of that. All right. More colonists coming in. Your colony could benefit from build a mini storage depot. No, I'm not been to, but no, I don't want to build a mini storage depot. I'll just build a regular storage depot. See this? This is what. Fine, there. Are you happy now? I'll go stick one over there pointlessly. Just to satisfy your stupid mission, because a mini storage depot only costs us ten nanites, and our mission reward for that was most of those nanites and some bread. We want us to get our nanite income up. Our nanite income will come up. Your reward available. Is satisfactory. I've been authorized. I want seven immigrants. I want more people to work in the mines. That's that's always the thing. Whenever it comes up, what do you need? More people to toil in the mines. You always want people, and I always want them to be toiling in your mines. Read that. How many people are working here? Uh, you know, a respectable number. Let's upgrade you as well. Upgrade. You're already upgraded? Okay. Just checking. Hey, What's our new mission? I think you should pick it up. Why would you actually... That's like saying there's oxygen in the atmosphere. I think we should breathe it. Also, something we do need to do is build a lightning tower. Oh, we're out of nanites. Requires one energy, one power, 15 nanites. We have way more than enough nanites. Oh, we gotta have a battery first, right? I always forget the battery part of this because I never use batteries. Uh, batteries are an energy structure. We get a tier one battery, which we can stick pretty much anywhere. Batteries are also unmanned, so let's do that. Drop a, not a wind turbine though. Lightning tower. Are you covering the whole colony? That covers everything. Perfect. Pick up the cargo pod. You know, we'll get to it. It's out of range. I'm assuming, yeah, it's definitely out of range. So what we're going to want to do is expand out in this direction. That's fine. We can start doing our other things that are not food related out in this direction. Honestly, we might need some more housing over here. What's our commute look like? Uh, you know, nobody's upset. 
A little bit of crime? Really? We have crime already? I mean, the colony just started. What's up with the crime, folks? We don't even really have anything worth stealing. The building is not connected. A lightning tower didn't get built in the right spot. It definitely didn't get built. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Well, maybe that's not a bad thing. I suppose we could always just run another... We could run another avenue down here and have something built on the other side of this, so... I'm not happy with that, but it's not the end of the world. Power is... I was going to say power is an issue, but that's actually not true. Power isn't an issue at all. We could just upgrade this geothermal generator and we're going to have all the power we'll need for the next foreseeable little while. So let's start building some amenities. Everybody lives here, but long term, that's not going to be the case. We're going to be expanding out in this direction. I'm guessing where I really wish I knew where the hell I was supposed to be going. It said something about an alien artifact. Maybe we just have to pick up. Maybe what we need to do is just make the colony big enough that we can build one of those expedition things and have an expedition go forth and like look for it. So let's pull those out here. Food sorted. Our food is stockpiles are going up. We got plenty of water. We're not quite at 22 per colonist, but we're close. They want us to pick up this cargo pod. You know, we'll get to it. We need a research center. Okay, that is actually something that we could use. So research center, artifact containment. Let's drop a research center over here. These guys are going to have a commute issue. We already know this, but that's fine. We're going to offset the commute issue by dropping down some nice houses out here. We're going to come out to the rich part of town and just build a skyscraper. I think we'll build it a little further out, though. We'll build a skyscraper out here. This will keep the people deliriously happy. People love living in extremely tall buildings in extremely close quarters. They love it. Crowding them in there pretty much as fast as you can. Insufficient housing. Odds are, you know, strangely enough, I'm actually, actually fixing that. We also could probably stand to slow the whole immigrant roll just a little bit. And now that the food situation is handled, we don't really need these on fill. Let's just put them back down to normal priority. We don't need all of those jobs filled 100%. We'll be fine without it. I want to make sure both of my mines... Yeah, I was going to say, I want to make sure both of my mines are maximum upgraded. Let's upgrade our greenhouses while we're at it. We are, we are pretty close to our population cap. In fact, we're at it until the skyscraper gets built. But we also want to make sure we've got plenty of food to feed our colonists. And I think the next two items on the agenda are going to be a little fun and games area for the old colonists. Nothing colonists love more than getting shit-faced drunk after a good meal. So we're going to build a bar and a bistro, I think. Pete, are you projecting a little bit on the colonists? How do you know they... Well, I mean, you know, I can only assume that humans being humans, they're going to like things similar to the things that I, also a human, like. I don't know about you, but getting shit-faced drunk after a good meal, yeah, kind of does the trick for me. Any day, though, Cargo Pod, you want to finish that bad boy up? I mean, we could upgrade you. That's fine. Get a third cargo drone. Where's the other drone? We should have three. We should have a second drone out doing something. He's... Oh, he's over here building the research center. Okay. Skyscrapers and research centers, you know, they take some doing, even if you're doing them with drone labor. It does deny us the opportunity to have someone fall off of a high steel structure and plummet to their death and become a full hero. Was this never finished? Oh, no, we told it to upgrade. Okay, I was like, there, there are definitely people working in that. How are they working in an unfinished structure? It wasn't unfinished. They were just where we were in the process of upgrading it. That's acceptable to us. Okay. So we got uh, workers. Let's start some research. We got plenty of people working in the research center here. Amaranthium is just the happy drug, and it takes Kelco spores and quarry spores, right? This increases health and happiness. I mean, amaranthium is just good. It's straight up just a positive. Xenoglow is also straight up a positive. Let's get that researched. It's probably really all we need for the moment. The rest of these things have somewhat dubious benefits, although if we're going to be doing Xeno Glow, it does require Xeno Sage, so let's learn Xeno Spice Bread as well. Also upgrade our research center to Tier 2 so we research faster. 
colony feels, you know, feels like it's going along pretty well here. What's the extent of our construction drone range, though? So we can come all the way out to here. Let's go ahead and block this in. Yeah, we can't build. So this is the extent of how far we can build. And then let's go ahead and get another drone structure in. Another drone management. Give me another construction drone tower right here. And then we'll grab those cargo. Man, these construction drones are getting shit done, though. Look at them go. They're building fools, man. Good work, boys. That's some hearty cooperation. Finish that, and then we'll pick up this cargo pod, and I think we'll call the day. I guess, uh, flinging the sour cream into my boss's eyes really worked, man. The only way I could have done it better is if I had taken the sour cream gun and jammed it down my pants first, but undone my zipper so that it looked like the sour cream gun was my dong, and then shot it in the manager's eyes so it was like I came on his face. It's the only way that scenario could have gotten me de further demoted. Cargo pod acquired. We picked up some resources and we also made it to the end of the episode. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Support really does mean a lot. If you'd like to see how well we can the expand this colony. From more residential space. I don't. Why do you keep telling me to build a shitty ass outposts? I got skyscrapers in the works here, man. I don't need fucking outposts. These places are a dump. Why do you make me build crappy housing? Now, Pete, don't build an elaborate, triumphant skyscraper that will touch the heavens and spite the gods with its beauty. No, no, instead, build a trailer park. That's what the world needs, Pete. More trailer parks. If you enjoyed my trailer park construction, you might consider dropping a like down in the comment section. Support really does mean a lot. And if you'd like to see us continue to raise edifices so high that they spite the gods themselves and incur their wrath, I consider subscribing as well. Post new episodes of Avon Colony every single day. Right now, however, thanks very much for watching. See you again soon.